I definitely want to get to the Browns in a minute, but so we talking about the Steelers. I mean, I, I'm sure we all agree. We'd like to see them do a little bit more, but you just mentioned it. They got to six and four and yeah. got outgained in every game before they really, you know, before the offense showed much of a sign of life. So if that's the floor for the, I mean, if the offense can do that, where I mean, where do you where do you see this season going the rest of the year? I mean, they're already a playoff team without an offense, and now it looks like they might have one. So the thing that was so crazy, I thought obviously the offense was going to play a lot better throughout this whole season, and I I said that this is a twelve win team. The way that is looking right now, I I can see this team pulling out eleven wins easily because you think about the next two wins, the next two I mean the next two games we have the uh, we or the Steelers have the the Cardinals and then they have the Patriots. Those are very winnable games, and then they play, they play Cincinnati again. That's a, they just beat Cincinnati because Cincinnati can't create offense because they they don't have the quarterback, and, and so the back half of their schedule is very favorable, and that's why I think this team can can pull out eleven wins or twelve wins because the one thing that most people in the NFL are scared of is Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens, but when you see the Steelers when they play them, they understand how to play each other. That's, you know, they're, they're, they're rivals. They understand what they can and can't do versus Lamar and how they like to play defense. And Coach Tomlin has their number the last few years. So I don't think that's a team that they're really scared of, but a team that they respect. So I, I think they can pull out at least 11 or 12 wins. Coach Tomlin is the last thing I wanted to talk about for Pittsburgh. I mean, okay, I I I think you're right. I mean, 10, 11, 10 wins seems like the floor and 11 certainly feels possible. It would be another year without a losing record. And you get to, you know, 11 wins potentially without having much of an offense for half of that season. I mean, would this be the year that finally gets Mike Tomlin a coach of the year award? I We looked it up. I can't believe he hasn't had one over all these years. So to me, it just, I don't understand how they judge the coach of the year award because it's been years where coach Tomlin had a winning record with Duck Hodges and they went to the playoffs. And it's like, how did he even figure that out? Wow, and I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus, but if you look at a team like Brandon Staley's, where they have all the talent in the world, when you look at a team like the Bills, they have all the talent in the world, and they, they might not even finish with a winning record. When you look at Coach Tomlin's teams, Obviously, he had Ben Roethlisberger, but this year he doesn't have Ben, and he has to really lean on the defense on this side of the ball. So I think that he's doing a great coaching job when it comes to the Coach of the Year award, but you know they love to give those awards to oh, teams that win, uh, lose one or two games. So, Which is funny because, to you, I mean, I agree. Like the, the award so often goes to the team that wins like 13 or 14 games, but – Mike T's had those seasons too, and somehow didn't get that award during any of those years. So we'll see how it goes.